Hello and welcome to another episode of the Nick Rodriguez Podcast. Today, we are going to be talking about the top six NFL games for the 2022 season. Uh, six because, I don't know, I just want to do one more than five. There's one more that I that I wanted to get in there. So we're going to talk about the top six NFL games to watch out for the 22, uh, 22 season. A couple rules that I have when I do this, though, is... Uh, I want to have people like you can't, they can't be in inner division. So it's not going to be no Ravens versus Steelers. No, you know, no Chiefs versus Chargers, uh, Jets versus Patriots or Patriots versus Bills, anything like that. We know those are big games. We know those are classics. A lot of playoff implications are on the line with those games. So none of those matchups are going to be on there. I tried to mix it up a little bit throughout the whole entire season. So we have ones starting in week one and then we have, ones as late as week 15 but definitely let me know what your top six nfl games are for the season uh, i'm really excited for this nfl season we have some content coming out uh regarding the nfl season on what kind of um draft they had we have someone who's going to come on about the patriots in a little bit just uh, working out scheduling things to to have them on which is really exciting uh but we have a couple of big guests that are that are going to come on to talk about the NFL since we are getting close to the NFL season. I do want to note that um, with the NFL season, we will be doing the second year of the Nick Rodriguez podcast, Fantasy Football League. It's a mouthful to say that, but we're doing that. It's going to be up to 20 teams, 20 teams. So it's going to be a lot of teams. Um, I'm going to give everyone the chance who was in it last year to come back if they'd like to. If they don't, then uh, that, that spot would be open. Currently, I think we have about two or three spots open. So definitely DM me and let me know if you're interested in either coming back or if you didn't play last season, if you want to play. That way I can start reaching out to people to see uh, see if they, uh, they want to play with us again. But there's going to be top prizes. Still working on what the prizes are going to be, but there's going to certainly be uh, top three prizes uh, for – the finishers and everything like that, but just ironing that out. And uh, we're just a few months away, so we definitely have some NFL content coming. But I just wanted to jump on for this Friday and talk a little NFL, give you a little preview on our Fantasy Football League and uh, some of the guests we have coming up, uh, which I'm really, really, really excited for. But today, we're going to jump in to the NFL schedule for 2022. Uh, Number one, I've got the Bills versus the Rams. This is a week one matchup. I think we know why this is going to be awesome. You have Josh Allen, who went out in blades of glory against Patrick Mahomes in the playoffs. A lot of people seem to be picking the Buffalo Bills, so you're going to see them on the list a couple of times this season. They have such an awesome schedule, and they're going to the road to play the Super Bowl champs, Rams. Uh, Matthew Stafford, Aaron Donald, we got McVay. So it's going to be very interesting to see how this team uh, holds uh, and everything like that. So I'm, I'm very interested to see how that matchup goes. Who wins? What are the storylines coming out of it? Is this a Super Bowl preview? Uh, so that matchup is very enticing in itself as well. The second one I have is in week four. Uh, that's with Again, we have the Bills here. I have them a couple of times. Uh, we have the Bills versus the Baltimore Ravens. Now, the Bills, they're, they're, obviously they're a great football team, phenomenal team here. Um, and I've talked about what I'm excited about for them as well. Uh, but as far as the Ravens, what are they going to look like this year? You know, they, they lost Hollywood Brown. Now he's in, uh, he's in uh, Arizona with the Cardinals. A lot of injuries last year. Lamar Jackson, his contract situation is very interesting. This is very early in the season for the Baltimore Ravens. So it's going to be interesting to see, and it's in Baltimore, how this plays out. You know, we know the AFC North is a lot tougher. Um, do the Ravens really need to grab this one? How, did the Bills drop one against the Rams earlier in the uh, earlier in week one? Early start, uh, two big games for the Buffalo Bills, two playoff teams. Ravens, maybe they're on the verge, um, you know, and Rams, obviously, they're Super Bowl contenders once again after after winning the Super Bowl this past season. All right, number three on the list we have 
the Chiefs versus the Bucks. This is obviously this is also Week Four. This is obviously a uh, Super Bowl rematch uh, from a couple seasons ago when Tom Brady and the Buccaneers won their Super Bowl and and beat the Kansas City Chiefs. Everyone's interested to see what the Kansas City Chiefs are going to look like. No, no, I'm going to say no Tua, uh, no Tyreek Hill. They have Juju. They have MVS from the Green Bay Packers. Um, They've got some pieces from the drafts. You know, they're still going to be really good. And, you know, the Bucks are the same way. You know, they, they lost to the Rams in the playoffs this past season. Brady retired. Then he unretired. And he's back at the fold at this point in time. We don't know what's going to happen with Gronk. So that's, that's very interesting. But these are two loaded teams. Another Super Bowl matchup. And one that has me really excited. And I would, I would love to see, again, the, the storylines. What happens if... The Bucks blow out the Chiefs. What are they going to say about the Chiefs? Oh, you know, so, some of the stuff that we said last year about the Chiefs. Oh, you know, they're not that good this year. You know, they're they're not going to be able to make it. And, you know, the Chiefs ended up turning it on. So, Chiefs-Bucks is, I know that's on everyone's radar. Week four, that's going to be awesome. All right, number four on the list for me, I've got the Bills versus the Chiefs. Very, very, very similar to Bills versus Rams, uh, Bills versus Ravens. Uh, but this one is going to be great as well because this is the this is the rematch. This is week six. This is the rematch of one of the most incredible playoff games of all time. So this one is going to be insane. It's in Kansas City. I'm hyped to see who comes out of this one. I'm really rooting for the Bills this season. Um, I would like to see them. I think this is their year to get past the Chiefs. They're going to break through at one point. And a heartbreaking loss to the Chiefs last year. Maybe that, that, that pushes them past the season. But this game and chiefs Bucks is going to be on everyone's radar. And it's going to be awesome. Um, it, it's it's going to be fireworks. I mean, whoever wins that one, I just hope none of these games are blowouts. And they all live up to the hype. But sometimes that's not always the case. Now, my five and six picks. Those top four are pretty obvious, right? Super Bowl contenders, Super Bowl champions of the last few seasons, contenders, playoff contenders, you know, things like that. Now, these next two games, it's not like those teams aren't those things, but it's a, it's they're a little bit underrated to me. They're a little bit underrated. The first one we have is the Saints versus the 49ers. They've met in the playoffs before, two franchises with a lot of history. The Saints they had a lot of injuries last year, and you could tell in the, in the way they attacked the draft with drafting Olave and, and getting other pieces up as, as well, uh, getting Jarvis Landry, uh, Tyron Matthews over there. Is Drew Brees going to come back to the Saints? A lot to be answered with that one. And then the 49ers. I'm guessing Trey Lance is going to be the starter with San Francisco, but they still have Jimmy G to this date. Are they going to trade him? Does anyone want him? Uh, he's pretty expensive. So this is not until week 12. So those first few matchups that I was talking about, you really, we really won't know them yet. We're not going to really know this Bucks team or this Chiefs team early on in the season, especially Bills Rams. That's week one. Week 12, we're really going to know who the Saints are and we're really going to know who the 49ers are. And my biggest question is, what, what kind of Trey Lance are we going to get? I know everyone is excited to get to, to see it with the Shanahan offense and you have Kittle and, and I guess Debo is back now. Um, but I'm very intrigued in the Saints 49ers matchup. I think that's going to be phenomenal. And the way these two teams can ten, get tangled up, is this, does this come into playoff seeding? Does this come into, you know, how does this affect the playoffs? Because you're, now you're getting deeper, deep, deeper and deeper into this, into the, into the season. So, this one, I think, is an underrated one to look out for, which is the Saints versus the 49ers. The last one on my list here, number six, is the Patriots versus the Raiders on week 15. Patriots, some, some people think they're overrated. Some people don't like Mac Jones, uh, think he's not very good, more of a game manager. And I get that. Uh Raiders, they have a lot of expectations this year after trading for Devontae Adams. And, and then, of course, you have the former Pats offensive coordinator going to the Raiders to be their new head coach. So there's a lot of build up here. It's going to be 
in Las Vegas. So there's a lot to uh, look forward to this Week 15 matchup in Las Vegas. We know the Raiders made the playoffs last season, and they, they got bounced against the Bengals. The Patriots, I believe, just missed out on the playoffs. I think they could be a playoff contender. Um, similar to the Raiders, you know, the AFC is just so freaking deep that, you know, it, it can be it can be tough based on seeding. You know, the Colts got better. The Bengals got better. Of course, you still have the Chiefs, and you've got the Bills. And, you know, even teams like the Jets got a lot better. I'm not saying they're going to make the playoffs, but they got a lot better. So... This matchup, I think, is – I'm going to have a bold prediction that it's going to affect the the playoff seeding. Uh, either one of these teams is going to get in because of a win or one of them is going to get bounced because of a loss or a tiebreaker. But those are my top six NFL matchups to watch out for. Again, to recap, Buffalo against the Rams in week one. Buffalo against the Ravens in week four. Chiefs versus Bucks in week four. Great week. Bills versus Chiefs in week six, week six, Saints versus 49ers in week 12, and Patriots versus Raiders in week 15. There's so many great games. It's going to be an awesome season. Looking forward to it. Like I said, we're going to have someone come on the show uh, to talk about the post-NFL draft. He's a big name. He's been on the show before. We're just, we're just tinkering with schedules right now. And then the other one is a Patriots podcast as well. Uh, or he's a Patriots writer, and we're going to talk about the Patriots and expectations going into the season and, and everything like that. But definitely stay tuned for that. And uh, guys, this was a short one, but I hope you guys enjoyed my top six NFL games to look out for for next season. Thank you so much.